after a long time of waiting, we got a brand new Sonic Movie 2 trailer, and this one shows us a lot of new dialogue and clips in it. I'm also going to go into one specific scene that I think might get removed, and I'll explain why. As well as a little more info to back up my theory that Metal Sonic will be in the end credits and be the main antagonist of Sonic Movie 3, which was already announced. Now again, we are getting closer and closer with this movie, so no spoilers here. I'm beyond excited for this movie and wouldn't want to ruin the experience this close to its release. Yeah. This is going to be one of the biggest movies of the year huh? since Spider-Man was technically in 2021 and I can't wait to go into all the new easter eggs and break down this trailer and it goes by quickly, you, you certainly missed it. But before we start, I have some quick words I have to read. This video is brought to you by Hotline Sewanee's Sonic Frontiers Remix Giveaway. He's a producer in the Sonic community who mostly makes very chill lo-fi and synthwave remixes of various Sonic and other video game music. He's on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, but to promote his new EDM remix of the Frontiers trailer song, he's giving away a bunch of Steam games and a Switch for the grand prize. All you gotta do to enter is sub and follow on YouTube and Twitter and comment hashtag Sonic Frontiers Remix on his premiere. I'll link to the premiere where you can hit the notification for it and enter the giveaway there as well. He lists all the steps there specifically, and I know most of you struggle with basic comprehension. He's also trying to raise $750 for the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. A pretty good cause, so check it out. So without further ado, let's react to the trailer, then we'll go over everything you missed in it and analyze it. After that, we'll get into Metal Sonic and the scene I think they're gonna alter. Oh, also, Tails has a gun. So, let's play the clip. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, but sub and bell. Sonic Show, by far number one source of Sonic news, and I really appreciate it. Okay, so now, play the trailer. I have been called many names. Fat, smelly, ugly. Spiky supernova. But you may call me. <coughs> Sorry. Blue Justice. Whoa. Here we go. He's Batman. Hello, Hedgehog. You're never going to get my power. Oh, contraire, mon frere. Meet. Knuckles. I was expecting more of a fight. More Knuckles dialogue. So nice when Diabolical Evil lives up to the height. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'm so excited for this movie. Disney, pretending to be Batman, Blue Justice, trademark pending. So this trailer is named Blue Justice because it focuses on Sonic's imaginary superhero persona. There's a lot more dialogue in this one, and finally, we get to see Knuckles talk a bit more. He says, I was expecting more of a fight. And I'm loving what I'm hearing. Also more of Jim Carrey in this darker version of Robotnik, which I'm really excited to see. However, let's not get distracted. First things first. The very obvious Batman theme of the trailer. So the new Batman movie comes out in a couple of days and it fits perfectly with the scene they already have in the movie. Even the clip at the end from the boat scene kind of acknowledged it too and I love to see it. But one thing I think is important to mention is the humor of this movie will likely be much better, so hopefully no flossing, and be able to appeal to a wider range of ages while still being kiddo friendly. Pat Casey and Tim Miller are both really funny so... While the shackles aren't completely off, they're gonna have a lot more room for subtle humor in this movie, which very excited about. We still don't know much about how the Death Egg robot plays into this, but I'm certain we'll find out once the movie releases and we all get to go see it. We also got this one ultra short clip, but it goes so hard. Yes, feel free to screenshot. Oh, also, I gotta quickly mention, Sonic Movie 2, it's delayed in that place. Do I really have to tell you why? It's bad. I know you don't care about what Raccoon Man thinks. And I don't even have to say it, but obviously my heart goes out to everyone there. And this is actually related to the next piece of news of the scene removal. But 100%, objectively, the Sonic and Tails flag is in the right. Even Bing Chilling agrees, and they're generally pretty evil. And why that's related to my next piece of news is because I have a theory that the bar scene might have some altercations due to this. 
If you watch my first trailer easter egg video, I zoomed into the backgrounds and noticed that the bar they're at is located there. Which itself isn't anything inherently, you know, that's not enough to remove it. But maybe the fact that they're like ultra aggressive and try to attack Sonic and Tails might be a funny bit. <laughs> but unfortunately the coincidence doesn't look like it's gonna age ultra well for the release window. And once again, Sonic Movie is coming out along with a large scale catastrophe. At this rate, I'm honestly dreading Sonic Movie 3's release. Like what's gonna happen then? Rapture? Also, another thing I wanna quickly talk about is the Super Emeralds. I've seen a lot of debate of Chaos versus Super, and honestly, I don't really know, and I don't think it really matters. It just depends what wordage they decide to use. It's ultimately their choice. But I think it's very likely one of those will show up. I know previously I've been saying the word Chaos Emeralds, and I haven't acknowledged Super Emeralds, and everyone's been like, Jaden, Super Emeralds. Listen guys, either or. Also, some people were like, uh, Jaden, he went supersonic in the first movie. Look at the Fandango clip name. But I'm not talking about Angie Blue Eyes electricity, but real supersonic. Maybe he even has a way stronger gold electricity. Would be a good way to explain the Dragon Ball-esque outer glow he has in his super form and neatly include supersonic in the movie universe. Also, we've already seen so many epic things in these trailers and we know they still have tons of secrets up their sleeves, so I'm very intrigued. Let's quickly get in the Metal Sonic, who I theorize will show up at the end credits or towards the end. Now again, that's no spoiler because it just as likely could not happen as it could. I only theorize this because they wouldn't want to repeat the antagonist to protagonist arc like they're pulling with Knuckles, so logistically it wouldn't make sense to do this exact same thing again with Shadow. Also, the red look with no external character traits of the third movie's logo with the ominous red glow looks just like Robotnik's drone's eyes. Or maybe not eyes, but whatever the thing is. The, their vision. Plus, from the other trailer, we also saw the beginning stages of Robotnik's badniks and other robots with this look. Plus, with them adding the Death Egg robot, it feels like a natural place to go. And the hero fighting off against an evil or upgraded version of themselves is a common trope in these movies, but something either Sonic movie is yet to do. Plus, Metal Sonic having AI and being able to get smarter and stronger would be a really interesting dynamic. I could very easily imagine Metal getting too smart and too strong for Sonic and they all have to team up and take him down. And if they don't game end Robotnik in this movie, maybe he'll have to team up with Sonic. A dynamic that has been explored countless times in various Sonic games, shows, and other media. So I think it'd be really interesting to see Jim Carrey Robotnik team up with Sonic. That'd be cool for the end of a third movie, right? But alas, we can't talk about the end of a third movie. We're getting too ahead of ourselves. Personally, I do think Metal Sonic will show up, but I'm just excited to see what surprises they have. Some people were like, why would you be upset with Shadow? And I'm like, what? I wouldn't be at all. I'm just saying what I think is more likely. Personally, I guess I do think Metal is a more interesting premise, but they have an entire team of creatives there. I'm certain if they went with Shadow, they do something cool and it would appeal to a large audience. But at the same time, they're also clearly looking out for us Sonic fans. So regardless of what happens, I'm just excited to see it. Also, in other Sonic Movie 2 news, we got to see Tails with some sort of guy. So I imagine Tails doesn't have his own sort of fire or electric power move, so he compensates with a gun. Looks pretty cool. I'm almost 100% certain it's part of the movie, because why else would they make a toy of Tails holding that if it's not in the movie when everyone else's thing is in the movie? Also, it feels like unnecessary controversy, because you know there's some parents out there who are going to be like, Ain't no way in rootin' tootin' heck my son playing with... No rootin' tootin' shootin' demon device. So I'm excited to see this in use live. Hopefully, nobody comes to my theater and brings a real version of one of those. That would be bad. So happy for this movie. It comes out earlier depending on where you live. I was going to take a trip to the UK to see it a week early, but I'm already traveling on the 15th and I don't want to overdo it. So, ah. Uh, I guess I'm going to see it April 8th, like the rest of you plebeians. 
Unless, you know, someone with a someone with power watching goes ooh woo and hooks me up with some early screening so I could put out a no spoiler review, you know. That would be an epic alpha gamer moment. So with that, like the video if you liked it, because that helps me and I like that. Sub and bell if you're one of the sad few who haven't, as the Sonic Show is God's chosen source of Sonic news. And if you don't sub, no afterlife for you. Sorry, I, I don't make the rules, but I do encourage you to save yourself by subbing and cleansing all your previous sins by hitting the bell set to all notifications. I'm busy working on some major side projects, so thank you all for the patience in terms of uploading a little less. I'm going to be looking for an editor in these next couple weeks to pay and help out, so I will be uploading more once we get that all figured out. Plus, there isn't much Sonic news right now, so not the end of the world, but it would take a huge load off my back so I can focus on these other projects. Also, go check out Hotline Sawani's giveaway and go get you that Nintendo Switch, cuz. His Sonic Frontiers remix drops on the 9th, so set your alarms for that EDM remix. Link below. And that's all for today. I just wanted to tell you, for the first time ever, I love you. I do, and I mean it. And I do hope you would reciprocate those same feelings and love me enough to sub and bell with the notification set to all. Got a bit emotional there. Lots of love and peace. Peace. Don't buy a cheap with me, he shop at Ross. Try to slide in these DMs, it might just cost. I don't play these games, don't make me run a cost. Leave you looking like them little cyclops.